Hello, this is a video about the dashboards that you can see once you log in to your Mucent account. So as you can see, basically we have two types of dashboards. One is campaigns and one is revenue. Uh, so let's go ahead and basic, basically explain uh, what they do. First off, the dashboards that you see here are basically show, showing all results, uh, I mean a total of results. Uh, of any uh, section that is uh, shown right here. For example, this one is campaign overview, this is campaign performance, etc. And it's for the last 30 days uh, as shown up here. So basically what you see, let's go and see one or two of them just to point out what uh, it's one of these mean. Uh, let's say the first one, campaign overview, will show you some metrics regarding your campaigns. Again, this is a total of all your campaigns in the last 30 days. Uh, so for example, uh, my campaigns were sent in total to 49 people. I had 95.92%. Uh, open rate, uh, I had this uh, click rate and click rate 12.24 and uh, I also had 16.33% uh, unsubscribed, uh, unsubscribed rate, one would say. Uh, also, there is this option up right here, which if you click on, as you can see, it's pretty much on every report that you can see on every dashboard of your report that you can see here and every widget. Uh, and when you click on it, it will show you the uh, information regarding this report. Uh, so for example, for this one, it says a set of key campaign statistics during a set period of time. So that means that this is the uh, total of your campaigns for the set period of time, which is shown up here. 30 days, as mentioned, let's go, and, let's go ahead and see another. I'm going to go ahead to this one, let's say. So this one is top links performance, meaning which of your links that were sent via your campaigns had the best performance in the last 30 days. Uh, again, you can see this information right here. And also, uh, for some reports, as you can see, there are some three, there are three, uh, a button with three dots on the right. So when you click on that, you can download this uh, report as a PDF, or if you go here, you can uh, download it again. And this one right here will show you the top campaigns, meaning the campaigns that uh, had the best um, performance, let's say, in the last 30 days. Uh, same for this one, top mailing list again, the list that had the top performance in the last 30 days, etc. And then let's go ahead to see the revenue report. So revenue will basically show you all revenue tracked from your tracked website. Uh, in order, again, in order to track your website, uh, you have two options. If your website is based on an app like WordPress, for example, you can track it via our plugin, for example. Or if your uh, website is not based on such an app or we do not have a plugin that uh, can uh, do tracking on your site, you can always use our custom tracking code, uh, which you can easily find if you Google search JS space tracking space Moosen, and it will show you the link. Um, and you can basically add the custom tracking code to your site with your appropriate, appropriate variables, of course, uh, in order to uh, show tracking uh, on, in order to track your site into Moosen. Now, the revenue dashboard will actually show you any uh, revenue or revenue related uh, um, statistics that you can find right here in your track website, both for everyone that simply goes into your site and let's say buys a product and also if someone goes to your site via a campaign so it's not only through your campaigns this is a general information regarding your uh, site and the track statistics that you that we can find on that one so again let's go ahead and see one or two of the widgets of this uh, dashboard uh, let's start with the first one. It's a revenue overview. As you can see, again, on this one, it's on the last 30 days like the previous one. Uh, so the revenue overview will uh, actually means that in the last 30 days, I had one cards in total, out of which I had one order made. Uh, so one purchase. And from that one purchase, I got 12 
my test website is in euros so that's uh, 12 euros revenue in total and the average order value is 12 euros since I didn't actually make any other purchases on my test website. Uh, again, you have always the uh, question mark button up here, which will show you the uh, information you need regarding this widget and the one for the below one, etc, etc, etc. Again, for some of these, you can actually export or, uh, if, you, uh, if you will, download to PDF your metrics. Uh, let's go ahead and see some more. Uh, I'm going to continue down below. Re revenue summary. You can see uh, on the last 30 days how your revenue, how your revenue is um, changed uh, in terms of metrics or um, uh, you can see a graphic one would say and when the change was made. So I test bought my product on uh, 18th of May, uh, the past Tuesday. Uh, so as you can see, until the 17th of May, I had zero uh, um, euros in revenue. And when I go to 18th, I had the uh, 12 euros increase. And then I proceed again to zero since I didn't actually make any other purchases. Then we have a revenue by campaign type, which is an important widget that we have. Um, if you go here, you can see that you will see a donut chart uh, regarding your revenue that, uh, that will actually categorize regarding the campaign type. So automation campaign, regular campaign, etc., etc., etc. Again, you can always export this report if you like. And then you have a revenue by campaign, so that by each specific campaign, uh, the revenue created. Then you have the top 10 product categories, uh, again, in the past 30 days, and the top 10 uh, products, uh, which I've bought only one, which you can see here, Flying Ninja. And uh, that's uh, basically it regarding the revenues as well. Uh, so these are the two dashboards that you currently have um, in the uh, dashboard section of your Musant account and uh, you can see the most important information regarding both your campaigns uh, and also your revenue just right here.